Honorable members, ladies and gentlemen, I regret not being able to be with you in person today, but I am glad to be able to share a few words with you on the important topic you will address today. Let me start by recalling the World Health Organization definition of health. Health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. We cannot, therefore, underestimate the importance of mental health. We have all experienced at some point in our life, either personally, through a close friend or our family member, the devastating effects of depression or other mental disorders and of their consequences. Very often, discrimination adds to the suffering and disability associated with mental disorder. These are terrible conditions that can really impair the lives of those affected. Psychologists are at the heart of managing mental health individually and in the community. Society is changing around us at an unprecedented pace every day. The rise of the digital world, for example, brings with it exciting opportunities, but also new challenges and different worries for our citizens. Cyberbullying, harassment, fat shaming, feelings of inadequacy. These are just a few of the pressures in today's society. And they translate into the figures. And anxiety is the fastest growing illness in people aged under 21. And 50% of mental health illnesses originate in childhood, especially adolescents. Moreover, suicide and mental health remains an issue that we do not talk about enough. There is still too much stigma attached. What this says to me is we need to proactively tackle this issue now. To this end, I am proud to say that the Health at a Glance Europe 2018 report puts mental health at the forefront. My hope is that now Member States will all use this tool to feed off good practices in this field. And this exchange of ideas will be useful as many Europeans are concerned. The report indeed shows that mental health is an increasingly important health issue across all Member States. 84 million people are affected across Europe, and in 2015 alone, 84,000 people in Europe died of mental health-related issues. Those are 84 thousands lives of people next to us that could potentially have been spared. The report also highlights that mental health impacts on all aspects of society. The total direct and indirect cost of mental health problems amount to over 600 billion euro per year. These costs are not only the health care systems and social security programs, but also costs incurred by lower employment and worker productivity. Because mental health is not only critical for individual well-being, but also for social and economic participation. This outlines the need to coordinate efforts for a holistic response, integrating a collaboration between various sectors and at all levels, local, national, and European. Having said all of this, I do believe that the picture is hopeful. Many European countries are actively promoting mental health and improving access to treatment. And mental health has been a major part of public health policies in the EU for some time, notably since the Green Paper on Improving Mental Health back in 2005. In addition, the European Framework for Action on Mental Health aims to build on these efforts and guide our activities going forward. To bring the framework to fruition, the Commission supported the Compass for Action on Mental Health and Well-Being, which collects and analyzes recent activities in mental health from across Europe and exchanges good practices. A commendable example is Finland.
Thanks to the renewed suicide prevention strategy, they have seen a fall in suicide rates of over 50% in the past 30 years. And very importantly, the Commission has also set up a new steering group on promotion and prevention, which has named mental health as its focus area for 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, with the help of my services, I am strongly determined to improve the picture for mental health across our union, which is why mental health has been put in the limelight for the coming year. But I think I am probably preaching to the choir when I say that we need a holistic approach to this issue, not only when it comes to treatment, but also prevention. Psychologists play a vital role in the non-medicinal treatment and in achieving, along with the other actors in the sector, health care improvements. It is our collective responsibility and requires a collaborative effort. The closer our collaboration, the more impact we will make. So I thank you for today's event, which is an important part of this joint effort. I wish you a most productive discussions. Thank you.